Okay, we're doing a video with a GX390. I want to explain some things that are not covered online and or they're covered wrong. On your GX390 without the electric start, you've got a flywheel uh, and it doesn't have the starting gear. See this? And it also doesn't have the magnets. Now, some people said you could just take the starting gear, take it off, and put it on the old flywheel. It ain't going to happen. If you look here, you see this mark, machine mark on this flywheel. If Honda had machined this flywheel to that mark, this ring would fit on the flywheel, the old one. But they didn't. And even if you did switch over the starter ring to the old flywheel, you'd still have to re-glue the magnets. So that's not an option. The problem you have with this, if you look, <clears throat> we've got our uh, magnet here at 12 o'clock. Okay, look at the keyway. Keyway is at 2 o'clock, let's say, 2.15. We take our magnet off of our Chinese knockoff starter upgrade. Magnet 12 o'clock, keyway 1 o'clock. Your timing's going to be off. So the only way you, there's only a couple ways you can do this. You take this in and you spend a fortune at a machine shop for them to cut another keyway in, which I wouldn't waste the money on. Or what you're going to do is you're going to set your, you're going to set your crank. You're going to have your flywheel on and you're going to set your crank where your magnet, this magnet is going to be in between these two posts. Okay. So your magnet between these two posts your original flywheel and you're going to remove it without turning the crankshaft you cannot move the crankshaft when you're doing this and then you set that old flywheel aside and then you can take your new flywheel and you're going to install it where the magnet is perfectly centered on these two posts okay that's going to keep your timing and then you're going to torque it all down and you're going to hope because these are a tapered shaft, that the torque from the nut will make sure that this flywheel doesn't spin on the crankshaft. It should hold. Now, if it doesn't, what you can do is you can cut a new keyway into the shaft with a Dremel tool. Okay, but you'd have to t figure that out. You've got to do a lot of calculations to make sure you cut that keyway perfectly so that it's not loose. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Before I would do that, I would weld... I will weld, I'll put a tack weld on here on a flywheel to the crankshaft before I cut the keyway. That's what I'm going to do if this gives me any problems. So um, the other thing that I'm seeing online is you have this unit here. Now the way this goes, you're going to have this mounts up in here, right? And I believe this charging coil, but there's two sides to it. So you've got a nippled side and you've got a non-nippled side. And that has to that nipple side has to go in and it should sit inside here. Now the problem with these holes is there's threads in there that are going to be all corroded. You're going to have to tap them out and then you can install this. Now this you see some people install them down here. You want to install it up top. And the reason why that is, this gets installed up here is because you've got this uh, little bracket, this tiny little bracket here which nobody covers except for the Russian people. But yeah, you have to watch the Russian video and, and turn off the volume. So what this does, this piece protects your wire. So if your wire gets cut up in your flywheel, it's over. So you're going to pull that. Once you mount that, this gets mounted here. And your wire gets ran behind here. And then here's your mount for your wire. See, there's your pass-through through the case for your wire. Okay, so that should help some people out. I'll do a second video if I need to. I still haven't figured out what in the world this goes to. It looks like some kind of a wire holder on the back side. Another uh, tip, <clears throat> you use a two and a half inch hole saw and you're gonna drill this out with a two and a half inch hole saw and then you're gonna spend about an hour filing this out perfectly round so that your starter fits in there uh, properly. Okay, you can't be at an angle. It has to fit in there perfectly. Some people have been talking about engagement issues with the starter. I haven't got there yet. Uh, 
if I have any problems with the starter giving me engagement issues, I'll get some starter shims and I can put them on the top or the bottom, but I don't think I'm going to have that problem. Uh, I think these are this case is well engineered. I'm not going to need shims to shim the starter. So uh, the rest of the wiring you can find on uh, eBay. Go to eBay, look for the Honda GX390. Uh, um, these kits are only supposed to be made for 2010 or older motors. This is a 2011, and this is why the timing is going to be off because your keyway is off on the 2011. Honda changed the keyways on their uh, on their cranks. Anyway, this is how you get around it. But if you find a listing, they're going to show you the wiring diagram, and, and you can follow that, or you can look it up online. Hopefully that helps some people out. Um, over and out.